Hey, welcome to my new scarf. Scarf reviews. I'm Files. Welcome to tuning in. All right. So as you guys can see, I only have one eye. Sh eye I said eyeshadow. Only one eye done. I wanted to come on here and kind of do like a blending 101 type deal. I'm not an MUA, but I've been doing my makeup for quite some time now. Um, so I consider myself to know some stuff about you know makeup and things of that sort. I'm still learning. So um, I would like to you know share my you know um, share my tools and stuff with you and things of that sort. And you know because I do watch youtube and other emmy ways and things of that sort and you know um and all the practice that i do well you know when i do my makeup and things of that sort so i just want to do a talk through because i didn't want this video to be too fast because i did one eye already i was trying to see how this eye was going to turn out but it turned out pretty good and plus this is an easy eyeshadow look that's like for beginners um you're probably like no that don't look easy but i i, I use a few eyeshadows <laughs> but um so but it, it's it's like a look that you want to do for a beginner if you want to like kind of pop out what color and also if you want to mix color so I think this is kind of like an easy way and especially if you want to glam it up and stuff like that so when you see me doing the video you'll see what I mean hopefully it is it's kind of beginner friendly I would say but you know um, I know you're probably like but you be doing makeup you already know but I <laughs> Y'all could get it, okay? So I'm gonna go up close with you guys. All right, so um, I did this eye right here, and um, I think I did um, pretty good. So I was going for like a, you know, a nice, you know, look or what have you, and something easy and something simple. Um, so I didn't want to go into the cut crease and all that stuff because that's other hard stuff. But, but I do have. Um, but I do have other videos like that. So my eyebrows are already done. You guys already noticed. But um, so we're gonna just gonna do a talk through, and. I did use I did use mad palettes so I'm sorry to those of you and if you don't have these palettes that's cool too but um, that's basically about that so the palettes that I'm gonna use is the Mor my Morphe um, 3502 palette okay and my take me to Brazil palette from BH cosmetics and aurora lights this is a my this is a newest um oh, i'm sorry y'all aurora lights this is a new palette that i purchased probably like a few weeks ago so um yeah i'll probably be doing a video on this but um yeah so i will be using gleaming so you guys will see when i start using it so yeah so that's just basically about that so oh did i use my old morphe palette no okay all right i don't know why it's right there so I only use so I use three palettes y'all from different places so um yeah so you y'all don't have to use three palettes but that's what I use so here we go um so that's basically about that so the brushes that I will be using is the BH Cosmetics brushes I love BH Cosmetics I know you're probably like you mix the mingle Morphe and BH Cosmetics I know but I'm not doing a review or anything so um so we good on that <laughs> but anyway so I have one of my fluffy brushes and one of this, this other brush right here. So we're gonna take my Morphe palette here. So this is kind of like blending 101 um, and you know, things of that sort. So this is like a, a talk through. So I wanted the video to be longer because if I would've did a voiceover and plus I don't wanna do a voiceover, um, it would've been shorter, okay? So from my Morphe 3502 palette, excuse the messiness, um, but this is what I'm gonna use like as kind of like a transitioning color. So I'm gonna use this brush here by BH Cosmetics. This is from the um, Rose Gold Collection. It's not the fluffier brush, but just to get into the crease a little bit. So this is just to transition the colors um, pretty well. Um, so that's basically about that. So we just wanna get it in there, like right in the crease area. And um, this is just to, you know, to make the colors blend a little bit and also to deepen the color kind of a little bit, if you will. Um, I kind of noticed that's what it did and I was going to smoke it out, um, but I decided not to smoke it out because I wanted to do a wing and you can see my, my small wing on the side. So I'm going to get a little closer. So this is basically what I'm doing and um, with eyeshadow and with foundation, you have to blend. This is not a joke, this is very serious. When I first started um, with eyeshadow and things that will make up, you know, overall, blending is the key with foundation, with eyeshadow especially, because you don't wanna go out looking patchy, meaning that the colors are not transitioning. Now this is a no-no while going out, okay? This, you know, this doesn't, but anyway, so, but if that's the look you're going for, but I would never go out the house like this, you know, um, probably when I was, this is be if, if it was before, you know me, like I, I know better now, 
but you know before i didn't know but now that i know better i will not do that to myself i will just not use any eyeshadow you know or don't use makeup because nine times out of ten when i do eyeshadow um sorry yeah when i do my makeup i'm using eyeshadow whether it be neutral or things of that sort there'll be eyeshadows that look like you know close to my skin tone and you know people might think i didn't use eyeshadow but i did that's how well blended it is you know so you have to make sure that it's really blended so when i say blend to your arms fall off i'll be serious i mean your arms are not gonna fall off but i'll be really really serious because it's like you have to blend i mean i don't see any other way and that's just like the main thing with makeup with blending blending your foundation blending everything okay so that's what you have to do all right so that's what you have to do if you don't do it your 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 makeup is not going hold on y'all hold on yeah so when i blend and when i um when i cut the camera off sometimes i nine times out of ten i do blend i still continue to blend because i don't want the video to be too long because you do have to blend you do have to blend okay because you see how i continue to blend this and i'm going to take my fluffier brush and go in as well okay so that's what you have to do okay and um this is the fluffier brush here it does have a little bit of purple on it so i'm just going to take it and blend it some more here okay all right as you guys can see so we blend it okay and now we're going to take the purple so i take another brush from bh cosmetics this is not the rose gold collection um and then i'm going to go in with um take me to brazil okay and then I'm going to go in with this purple here. And I haven't used this in a while. So I was like, let me use this because I'm trying to use up my makeup. So that's just what it is right there. So I'm going to take this fluffy brush and go in, in the crease. Okay. All right. And this is, you know, this is going there. I know you're probably like, well, why don't you just use the purple? But I just wanted to do that just to transition the color. And plus, um, I think it did make it a little bit darker. All right. So, um... That's just basically about that. And again, I'm going to stop and show y'all what what is happening here if you decide to stop blending here. If you decide, like, that's okay. Like, you're going to go out the house like this, okay? Please let me know if this looks okay for you, okay? <laughs> because it doesn't look okay for me, all right? So you just have to continue to blend because, you know, this is just, this is, this is, this, this is just terrible, as, you, as my eye is down, you see that? Like, it's, it's not blended. It's not all the way blended, okay? I'm transitioning colors and things of that sort, so it's not, it's not blending. Okay, as you guys can see. I'm blending, but I'm not finished blending, you know what I mean? So you wanna try to, and then move it up a little bit, so when you do the other color on the brow bone, you are able to, is able to transition a lot better, okay? So I'm looking on this side to see how this looks, okay? I'm just gonna put a little bit more and then I'm just going to do this here again, okay? So again, blending is key. It might be a little bit too much for you or you might think that it's too much. So maybe eyeshadow is not your um, forte, you know? Because if you wanna be lazy and don't care, then that's fine, but for me, I do care how it looks and I do not want to go outside looking any kind of old way. Okay, so that's just basically about that. So um, I'm going to continue to, to blend there and I'm going to put my brow bone on, um, color on, I'm sorry, so I can, um, you know, um, tra put the transition the colors. Now we're going to use from the Morphe palette, we're going to use this color here. Okay, there are names for it, but I don't know what happened to the name. So just just look at it here. Okay, um, I forgot the names. I forgot what this was called. Um, but I'm just gonna use this brush, and I'm just gonna use this on the brow bone here, and I'm gonna travel it down the tail of the brow bone. I'm just, yeah, the tail of the brow bone, and I'm also going to bring it to the beginning. Some people don't like to drag it here, so you can stop where I was at. So it's really up to you. But I drag it to get more of a, of a blended effect or what have you. It depends on what type of look that you're going for. So you don't necessarily have to do it exactly like this. But this is what I do. Now, I'm going to show you guys what this looks like. Now, look at this. Does this look nice to you? Are the colors blended? You will never catch me go outside like this. Never. So we take the fluffy brush <laughs> and we're going to blend it out. This is that was a big no no, a big no no. Okay, because you know, and even though if you stop here, but you do you see the difference? The difference is there. 
the difference is really there okay so i go back with the brow bone color and i go in some more with it okay and i like to bring it down a little bit because i wanted to transition you know very well as you guys can see okay again when you're adding more color or when you're doing this you have to blend every time you add you have to blend does this look okay no so we will have to continue to blend we have to blend every time you add a color you have to blend get a fluffy brush and blend this is what has to happen so you do have to blend till your arms fall off you have to blend 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 if you do not do this you will go out there looking like i don't know but if that's the look that you're going for you do you boo boo but that's not the look that i'm going for at all so this is what you have to do in order to like make everything look cohesively together because if not then um it's just gonna look bad okay so just make sure that everything is cohesively together and that you have everything together so i'm looking on this side to see if it look kind of looks like that on this side and it does that's what i'll be looking at when i be doing my um tutorials and this is what it's looking like here so it's still blended very well so we're going to continue to blend here and we're going to blend 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 this is what you do you just blend 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 so you can wipe your eye away <laughs> but this is this is exactly what you have to do okay so that looks pretty much blended okay i will do some more blending when i um add other stuff but this looks pretty much blended okay so i'm gonna look in this mirror here yes everything looks cohesively together i'm gonna look to see if it looks the same yes it looks pretty much the same here so there you have it right there the blended okay it's very blended very very blended all right so you have that there now we're going to go into the gleaming from the bh cosmetics palette um aurora lights and we're going to put that right here so we can have a nice gleaming effect as you guys can see purple is the color for today and that's basically about that you probably think that i lost the purple color but just wait i will put some more after so now we're going to get into um the gleaming part okay before we do that we're going to use nyx okay nyx nyx um multi-taxing i'm sorry multi-tasker mixing medium okay this is to just basically um make sure that the um and i'll take a flat brush from bh cosmetics this is basically to make sure that um it doesn't you know go up you know maybe it d did went a little bit but it's just to help it not go all over the place and make it stay put a little bit so that's just basically it about that so i put a little bit here on on the on the tip of the brush and i'm just gonna make it like i'm doing like a soft cut crease basically okay so um all right so i'm gonna basically do so i'm gonna be quiet a little bit and i'll probably speed this up that we got our fake cut crease i says fake because it's like a really soft cut crease um we're not using the concealer to um help out just the multi um task from nyx okay and then we're going to i'm just putting a little bit more okay and then we're going to get the another brush another flat brush there's the other flat brush see and i'll be trying to have everything together but when you're doing makeup, it's kind of hard. Okay, so, all right, so this is the other flat brush by BH Cosmetics. As you guys can tell, I love BH Cosmetics um, stuff. So we're gonna take Gleaming here, okay? And we're going to tap it, tap off the excess, and we're going to apply it wherever it is. So wherever it is, we're going to tap it on and make sure that is on there. I just purchased this, re no, recently. This is one of my latest palettes that I have in my collection. 
I don't need any more palettes. I have over five palettes in my collection. This is sad. <laughs> I have about, I don't know how many palettes I got. Yeah, this is a soft cut crease. It may get, you know, up on the island and stuff like that, but just, just make it, you know, stay put or have more control, if you will, okay? That's just basically what it's doing. Have more control, okay? Because you don't want it to be all over the place, you know what I mean? Unless that's the look you're going for. But, um, yeah, that's basically about that. All right, so now we're going to take the um the other purple brush and we're gonna go back to take me to brazil they have another one called take me back to brazil so but i, I have the original one and we're gonna go back to the purple color and we're just going to kind of like come back and smoke out this side like a little bit like you know add the purple back a little bit okay with this brush here and we're gonna come back and blend All right, so we smoked it out with the purple, okay? All right, as we smoked it out with the purple, we're going to take the big fluffy brush and we're basically going to blend some more. Okay. And we blend it some more. And I think we're going to put a little bit more of the Morphe so we could, oh snap, what happened here? <sighs> Okay, um, sorry y'all, okay. All right, just gonna put a little bit here, just a little bit more, just a little bit, and then we're just gonna blend. So that's just basically about that. So yeah, so we blended that out pretty good, okay? And then that's just basically about that. So we're done with the eyeshadow, that's eyeshadow 101. And I'm gonna come back um, with you for a little bit. Oh, and if you guys wanna, oh, okay. Um, <laughs> all right, so we do the eyeliner, which is the Wet n Wild eyeliner. Um, and that's just basically about that. So as you guys can see, um, it's a little fallout here and there, but it's okay. Um, we will get that when it's time for foundation. That's why I like to put the foundation on afterwards. All right, so now we're gonna take the Wet n Wild liquid liner here, and I'm gonna try to do this on camera. It's gonna be pretty hard, um, but um, as you guys will see, I, I really can't you know, do it on camera. It's hard for me to do this. Um, I'll, be looking at, I'll be looking down on here so, so you guys can see. So maybe I will be in the camera, but we shall see. So I'm going to fast forward this so you guys can see, so. All right, and I didn't do the, the wing that dramatic because um, I didn't think it needed to be dramatic. Yeah, so now we're gonna make the, make the wing and um, I might make the wing off camera and I will come back. But let me see, because I need to see what's that wing doing, okay. So. little bit thicker than this side so okay all right so I'll be back real quick all right so that's what it's looking like um yeah my eye yeah hopefully I'm put some <laughs> eyelashes on to cover that but yeah so um that's why I like doing it on camera because sometimes it could look you know but it's okay though so that's just basically it about that that's what my eyeshadow is looking like and that was kind of quick y'all so I will be back and just to talk about it a little bit and um, I will return so yeah after I'm finished all of this um, I'm not gonna do this on camera no I have a video on that okay I'll be back peace
everybody so as far this is what the look is looking like let's get up close all right so this is what it's looking like here as you guys can see okay all right so um with um again i'm just going to talk a little bit more about the blending and then i'm going to get out of here but i wanted to do a demonstration in the beginning and let you guys see you know do a talk through so you guys could see that the blending is you know is your friend okay even when your foundation and you know with eyeshadow okay you don't want to go out looking separated you want everything to look cohesive you know cohesively together and it's like you know um if you if you can't you know blend and don't use the eyeshadow or things of that sort but it, it, it is a lot but it comes with a lot of practice so when I say blend to your arms fall off I, I mean it I mean if your arms could fall off but they're not but I really do mean that because you do have to do a lot of blending like when I was talking to my cousin she's an MUA and she was saying it's a lot of blending like she began tired of doing it herself like when she be blending is you're here like you're literally here blending like it's like there's no choice especially if you only if, even if you're doing two colors or one color you have to blend it's, even if it's like a color like when you see me with a natural color on my eyelid i blended that all the way out because if you just put it on you'll see that it, it doesn't it's just it's just sitting there but you know when i when i didn't know about a whole bunch of makeup and stuff like that that's what most of my eyeshadows was looking like and i was like oh my goodness like I came a long way so it's like if you really want to blend and you really want to learn that's what you need to do you have to practice watch videos and things of that sort so I've been watching a lot of MUAs here on YouTube and gotten close to them and you know been watching them and commenting and stuff like that and been learning a lot of things um here on youtube because it's just like but, but you have to practice if you don't practice of course you're not really going to get it but i would say to just continue to practice just blend 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 till your arms fall off because that's what you need to do un unless you just want that you know separated you know patchy look um but or unless the eyeshadow was that way but you know um but just and just basically try to get you know high quality you know get quality eyeshadow it doesn't have to be 50 dollars or 60 dollars for it to be high quality there's eyeshadow palettes that's like 12 and 15 dollars that are very good quality you know i.e bh cosmetics morphe and things of that sort you know morphe is like 27 but you know what i mean so that's basically about that but yeah so um that's it for the blending eyeshadow 101 i hope you guys like this um this was an impromptu um i did a makeup tutorial and talked through eyeshadow 101 and talked about it after so i don't know how this video is gonna look but i hope it looks okay but that's just basically i, I just try to avoid the whole voiceover type deal yeah but anyway I digress. All right, that's basically about that. So I hope you guys learned something. Um, I'll come back with more, you know, just just so you guys can get the gist of it. So let me know in the comments section below if you guys want me to do more eyeshadow eyeshadow 101. I can teach, you know, try to show y'all some things, and I could definitely go ahead and do it. Um, and let me know if you are having trouble with some eyeshadow, or if you you know you need more help, or whatever the case is. I would say just look around YouTube and the other YouTubers. Like, come on, because they 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 be especially my um, who is it QBC. Um, I always talk about her. She's very, very good. Um, and definitely go check her out. So, yeah. So, that's basically And there's, uh, there's a whole array of other. I can't think. But she just popped on top of my head. So, yeah. So, that's basically about that. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you have any questions, come to us with the last. Come to the next one. Marquita. Next time you're watching. Peace. Bye.